nine. It is time for our Friday Farmer's Market Preview. Jackie Karaosha is back with us. And today, you have brought stuff that are at the Farmer's Market right now. Yes. You brought some arugula and some spinach and all sorts of lettuces. Yes. So you're going to see a lot of your greens, your kale, some lettuces, the arugula and spinach this weekend. Okay. And you have decided to make a BLT, but you're yes. also adding some cheese, too. Yes. So it's combining two classic sandwiches, your BLT and your grilled cheese, kind of giving it more of an upscale feel. I'm curious. You already have everything set out to make, but when do you think it's a good idea to wash the lettuce and stuff? Right when you get it home for the farmer's market or right before you actually make something? You want to wash it right when you are going to make something. Okay. It gives it a little longer storage life. Oh, okay. And when you wash it, you want to make sure you just run under cold water and get rid of any of that sand and grit. Okay. And you got these at a farmer's market? I did get the spinach at the farmer's market. Okay. And I know nice. a lot of the arugula you'll find up more in the Longmont and Boulder area. Okay. So tell me about your version of this BLT. Yes. You have two different cheeses. Two different cheeses. <laughs> so first what you want to do is you want to butter the back side of your bread. And then the two cheeses, the white cheddar on one side and a cream cheese dill spread on the other. And I have used fresh dill. I just find the smell so intoxicating that yeah. I thought it would give it a bright flavor. And what you're going to do is place it on your grill. Mm -hmm. I prefer grilling outside whenever possible. But you grill your BLTs on the grill outside? Yes. Oh, okay. You can do this outside. Okay. Amazing. Two to three minutes until you see the grill marks underneath. Yeah. And you're going to see that white cheddar start to melt. Okay. Pull them right off. All right. And you're going to build your sandwich. You can pick and choose here. Have fun with your bacon choice and your lettuce choice. Oh, I like to prosciutto, too. prosciutto and bacon. I like okay. to pair the more smoky bacon with the mild spinach flavor. Whereas if you're going to go with the arugula, which has more of a peppery mustard flavor, mm -hmm. I like the, the more mild prosciutto oh, to go with that. Okay, that's a good idea. And putting the spinach inside this cheesy sandwich is a great way for kids to get some greens. Exactly. You, you know? kind of buried it in there and they're right. just not going to know. Now, when you go to the farmer's market, do you go looking for what's fresh and then think, ooh, things I can make? I mean, what's the best way to attack the farmer's market now? Because there's not a lot of stuff out. Right. There really isn't a lot of produce just yet. You're going to see that more in June. Mm -hmm. But I really did go this weekend and say, what can I make? And I found some of the dill, the spinach. And you'll see some people have tomatoes who grow them in their greenhouses right now. Oh, okay. Um, so just have fun with it. Really I'll check it out tomorrow. I can go out tomorrow morning. Thanks for coming in. No uh, if you're curious about the recipe and what to pair with what to make a really good BLT sandwich this weekend, go to our website because you're nice enough, Jackie, to write the recipes for us on our morning show page. So thank yes. you for coming in. Thank you, Gary. Doesn't this look good? A little bacon you know, in the morning? You know what? It's my two favorite sandwiches, and I never thought of putting them together. Yeah. That is genius.